Today we're going to awaken the inner samurai within all of us. This is going to be the Flash Cut 2 Swap. Now if you guys remember, I think we did take a look at Flash Cut 1. Uh, I think it was quite a long time ago in fact. And it was this katana mod where it was more than just your standard melee weapon. And this one is going to take that to the absolute extreme. So there's a lot to go over. Let's start with the basics though. Left click is going to be your slashing attack, and right click is going to be your other slashing attack, usually a heavy attack or a special attack. And get this, there's even going to be different stances. So right now we're in our first stance, but pressing the R key, we switch stances and that also changes the attacks that you get. And then we also have a third stance, which again changes your attacks. But we're going to start with the basics. What does the first stance do? Well, first things first, we have a nice three hit combo we can see a few hits left and right and then a nice up and down hit now you're gonna notice that these attacks seem to have a very large arc and it's a bit misleading because it doesn't go as far as you might think but it also goes pretty damn far for a katana like we can hit him from like right here and if you guys want to know what that slow-mo effect is that's a mod that we have downloaded Although I believe you can activate slow-mo by pressing the walk key, which is something that we probably won't be using much of. I think if you use it in conjunction with some other attacks, you can get like some cool slow-mo effects, but we pretty much get that anyway with the kill slow-mo mod. All right, so we know what left click does. What about right click? Well, with the first stance, right click is going to be a pretty heavy slash. It's a bit slower, but definitely nice to have. Now, of course, what happens when you hold down right click? And that's where the magic happens. We get the dash slash, and you're gonna notice that looks pretty familiar to a certain game that starts with D and ends with Dishonored. In fact, I'm pretty sure it even has the sounds from Dishonored, but it's really cool. Um, in every samurai game, you gotta have that cool teleporting slash move, and this one definitely does not disappoint, so as it implies, you're going to teleport. Now, if you hold down the alt key, I'm pretty sure it'll slow down time as well but we pretty much get that, like I said, with the mod we have. All right, so we've pretty much seen everything that you can do with the first stance. Not bad, definitely a good beginner stance, but we're going to mix it up a bit. Let's go into stance number two. You can see we even hold the weapon in a different way. Now, if you guys want to inspect your weapon, go ahead and press C, and you'll actually pull it up. And again, it is going to look different depending on the stance you have. For instance, here's the first stance, and then here's the second stance. All right, so what makes this stance any different? Well... This one is all about rapid attacks. As you can see, look at how quick we can attack. It's pretty insane. And then right click is going to be, well, you just stab him with the handle. Because this stance is all about speed, we ain't got time to actually pull the full sword out. So we're just gonna poke him to death. Now I do want to mention guys, as the creator also mentions on the mod page, this mod works really well with things like the sliding mod. And the reason why is, well, I'm pretty sure you can see. You can get some cool slide montages in. Now, it's not going to look that great with this stance. Unless you're, like, really quick. Because you're going to notice. Yes, our speed went up, but unfortunately, our damage did not. In fact, it went down. Because you're going to be using this weapon at a much faster rate, it's definitely... Re Whoa, wait, did that just one shot? Hold up. All right. Okay, that is definitely not a bad attack. Let's try to do this... All right, Odessa, whatever you do, don't turn around, please. And... Oh! Oh, that was a low blow. Let's be honest, though, Odessa doesn't have anything down there, so I don't think we have anything to worry about. Now, what happens when you hold down right-click, though? And that, of course, is when you do this. It's a long-distance slashing attack. In fact, check out how far this goes. Pretty incredible. It's, well, for all intents and purposes, a ranged attack. And it's definitely a unique thing. If you don't want to get up and close, this is going to be your go-to. All right, final stance. This one is going to be interesting. This one looks to be a heavy stance. As you can see, we're definitely attacking a lot slower, but check this out. Pretty much one-shotting Odessa there. I guess we got lucky. But this one is definitely going to be doing the most damage. Well, you know what? We should probably compare. So that's one slash. Okay, so sometimes it takes more than one hit, but it's definitely a bit slower. Now, holding left click is going to be, well, kind of similar. That's pretty much the right click of the last stance, 
but now it's the heavy attack, which you know what, I just remembered. I don't think we showed off the holding left click ability of this one. Okay, so it's just a, a nice cleave. Don't know if there's anything unique about that. And then right click, holding down right click is... Going to be a very large slash, so kind of like the ranged one. Oh my god, that's awesome though. Okay, we gotta see something. I'm gonna spawn Odessa's in a line here. Let's see if we can take them all out in one fail swoop. Oh, that is so sick. So, really do like that. Once again, the perfect heavy class. It might even have the most range for all I know. Alright, so we've taken a look at all of the basic abilities. Once again, if you hold Alt key with some of these, it can add like a slow-mo effect. But now we're going to talk about some of the hidden abilities. For instance, E. Uh... I did not mean to do that. The E key is going to let you dodge. So, you see we do have stamina down there, which means we cannot dodge and attack forever. Eventually, we do gotta stop. Otherwise, I imagine we're going to get very tired. So we're gonna clean up all these bodies, and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when someone decides to fire back. Alright, we got the good old Combine Prison Guard. So, with this... As we can see, he doesn't even stand a chance. But what about dodging? Well, we can see that dodging is going to help you avoid some of the fire, but unfortunately, you are still going to get hit a little bit. So something that's interesting about this dodge is, let's say you're at a high up area like this. Well, if you wanted to get down, you could just fall or you could dodge, and it shoots you straight down, which is kind of interesting. Also, you apparently get a charge if you hit an enemy. I'm dodging as quick as I can. And there is a limit to how much you can do it, but let's say that you do hit your enemy, you will get your dodge back immediately, so you can pretty much keep up the pressure. So some of you guys might be thinking, wait, when am I ever going to be above my opponent? Well, if you do this ability, that is going to let you drop down, so you're not just floating in the air like a sitting duck. So I gotta say, I kinda like that. It definitely gives you a much more boots to the ground style of fighting now trying to do all this while like oh my god <laughs> trying to do all this while like dodging and everything it can get pretty damn difficult but i can't lie every time you land this blink slash it just feels so awesome there is um a weird issue when you dodge into like a ragdoll it kind of like flings you up in the air like that so there is something very special with the second stance attack, and that is when you do the right click charge right here, unleashing that attack apparently gets rid of all bullets. I kind of want to test this, so in order to do that, we're going to summon a bunch of combine here, and let's see how this works. Okay, I don't know if that deflected bullets, but it sounded like it did. Alright, so spawning a guy with a shotgun was not a very good idea, so let's go ahead and try the AR. So once again, it's kind of hard to see if this is blocking bullets. I mean, I can only assume it, it is, judging by... Oh, okay. So it does kind of make a different sound when it happens, I assume. But obviously, this is not the ideal way to play. Uh, realistically, you're going to want to be dodging, getting out of the way. Oh, there we go, that was badass. So I did deflect the bullets back at him. Alright, so maybe it's easier to see with one dude. It's just, it's hard to tell if I'm actually blocking the bullets, or if I'm just killing him with the slash. But overall, this is a really sick mod, and it is super fun to use, whether you're using the first, second, or third stances. They each do bring something interesting to the table. I gotta say, I think my favorite is the blinking stance, just absolutely badass just doing this multiple times. So guys, let me know your thoughts about this mod down below. I'd love to hear it. This is honestly every samurai nerd's dream. And as always, if you guys want to leave a like or subscribe down below, you totally can. Links will be in the description as always. Thanks for watching, and until next time, farewell.